Today, Nerevar, we talk about my favorite human companion in Fallout New Vegas, Raul. You've never heard of him? Sit back, my boy. Raul grew up a troublesome youngster. He had a pension for being talented with his hands. On a good day, they held a wrench and on a bad one, a gun. His family did their best, but you know how kids are. I don't because they don't exist in Morrowind, but still, when the bombs dropped. His family's ranch was outside of the blast zone. First, this would prove a blessing, but when the helpless people arrived, they couldn't turn their hearts away. They would help a lot of them, but that's never enough, is it? One night when tensions grew high, they scared them off with guns, regrettably so, assuming the best they rested, but those bastards felt entitled and a dozen came back. Puta madres blocked the house up and set it ablaze, Raul managing to awaken to flame and save his younger sister, but it was too late for his familia. They had to run. A few chased them, but Raul laid down the law, only stopping for the safety of his sister. Quelling his desire for revenge, they ran, but they put a bounty on him. He wasn't even an adult yet. With some convincing, he convinced his sister to go to Mexico City. We can see the vaqueros, he said. Only a craterous hellscape awaited them, but it was their new home. They were reduced to measly scavenging ruins, the radiation scarring their skin with vicious burns, making their time often spent bandaging or looking for remedies to the pain. One day our Raoul found a vaquero costume while scavenging and in his childish wonder wore it for his sister, she laughed. He forgot how long it had been since she laughed. Unfortunately, this outfit brought a burden. He was seen as the gunslinger to kill or hide from. But while the fame wouldn't kill him, the radiation was trying. He developed late-stage radiation sickness and wasn't able to scavenge with his sister. One day she... she made the trip and didn't return. When Raoul found her, he could only recognize her mutilated corpse by the tiny scar she had on her knee. He didn't allow himself time to mourn. His mind and soul were clouded with hate and revenge. He tracked down the raiders to a small market and let lead hellfire rain down. After that, though, he knew he needed to go. He traveled far, finding himself at an abandoned oil rig under the identity we know now. Raoul. In his isolation, he had to face his past and his now ghoulified body. Years would pass, but he moved on to Two Sons, Arizona. I heard a ranger with big iron greeted him with welcome arms. He settled down and took the mantle of the town mechanic. The town had a brothel, and one of the women had caught Raoul's eye. Not that way, pervert. She reminded him of his sister. He started to do his best helping her by with caps and food. Unfortunately, though, the two sons had a raider problem. One exceptionally hot day, they grew unruly. Raoul, trying to break peace, sold them some bullets. He just wanted to help the town, but they held up the brothel killing women and patron alike. Except for her, Claudia. They kidnapped her and fled from Raoul's wrath, but no one can escape a vaquero. He followed them for days, but before he caught up, a horrid sight would befall him. Claudia was left in the arid sun, her half-naked corpse burned into his mind. If there was a flame to fuel, this was gasoline to the sun. He caught them at the crack of dawn the next day. Through all his anger, he opted for a showdown, but these bastards were dirty. They unloaded on Raoul, landing a few shots, but nothing compared to what they received. I hear he emptied both clips before they hit the ground, but soon he laid with them. Accepting his fate, he closed his eyes and thought of his family. But there's no rest for a cowboy, son. He would recover from his wounds and set off into the Mojave Wasteland. Unfortunately, his helpful soul got him captured by Tabitha. Yes, Nerevar. The Nightkin on the mountain. Did you know if you sneak from Scorpion Gulch, then repair her Mr. Handy, you get a peaceful resolution? It's nice. But she did cage up Raoul, so killing her is acceptable. Anyways. Like a princess locked in a tower, his knight had arrived. You. That's the moment destiny smiled on you as your fate intertwined with his. He's a good companion. You can repair stuff at his shack, and your weapons break down a lot slower with him around. 100 out of 10 story for a 10 out of 10 companion?